Do you want to know why Black Coffee won a Grammy for the best dance electronic music album? I spent the past two weeks immersing myself in Black Coffee to understand the top five things that made Black Coffee such an amazing artist so you can start applying this to your songs and become an amazing artist as well. But tell me over here in the comments below, what is your favorite song from Black Coffee? Let me know over here in the comments and let's get started with this video. Let's go. Black Coffee has some different traits from other producers and that's actually what made him a Grammy winning producer. One thing for example that I really like in his song is how melodic they are and that's something that you can listen in this song called You Need Me. You still hear a lot of that afro vibe in the song but now a lot more melodic and a lot more soulful as well. And you can listen to the same traits in the song called Come With Me. Notice how the song is really groovy, which is typical from Afro House, but also really melodic, which is typical from Melodic House and also Soulful House. And you can notice the difference between the genres when you listen to the remix of Mouillet by Black Coffee and compare it to the original from Kinda Musica. Listen to the remix right now. And now listen to the original from Kinda Musica. Could you hear the difference? It's a lot more melodic, right? And the best part is that regardless if he's doing a club song like his remix of Mouillet or if he's doing a more radio focused song like his collab with David Guetta called Drive as you can listen over here. All his songs make my shoulder dance a little bit and they all put a smile in my face and that's what makes people remember you as an artist and come back for more music afterwards. But, and you might ask me, how can you achieve this in your songs? This and other elements from Black Coffee songs is what we're gonna explore in this video so you can learn how to produce like a Grammy winning artist. But now, let's start with the basic. One thing that I really love about Black Coffee more than kind of music to be honest is how his songs are a lot more bass focused instead of being percussion focused and that's something that you can listen over here in the songs. This song is from 2009, back when people were listening to Avicii leads and also Tomorrowland bangers. Black Coffee was already doing his thing. And if you listen to his songs from 2024, you can see that he was doing something really similar from what he was doing 15 years ago, as you can listen over here. Such a great vibe, right? And you can ask me, how can you do something like this? Well, essentially, if you go into Ableton, you can start with a kick. And then you can add some percussions. But notice how these glasses and these congas are really important in the song. They just add a lot of groove, but the important part is also adding the bass line. Let me know over here in the comments below. Do you want me to make an Afro House song from scratch just like this one? Let me know over here in the comments below. But can you see how essentially it's not only about the percussions and not only about the bass line, but a combination of both of them, which makes the song a lot more groovy and a lot more exciting to listen to, as you can listen over here. And this song has something that really sets Black Coffee apart from other producers, as we're gonna talk in the next topic. Black Coffee songs are extremely melodic and often with hints of jazz music, which makes a lot of sense since his major in college is in jazz studies. But first of all, let's start with make his songs more melodic than other Afro House songs, the vocals. It's not only having vocals, but the vocals in his songs are a lot more soulful and a lot more melodic, as you can listen to the song called You Need Me. And you can listen to the same kind of vocals in the song called Garden of Eden. Basically, instead of having the vocals more slapped and more raw like what Kanye Musica does, as you can listen over here. Champion. Champion. 
Could you hear the difference? The vocals are normally a lot more melodic and a lot more soulful, which is really common in jazz music. And that's something that Black Coffee knows inside out. And you can ask me, how can I find vocals like this? Well, you can watch this video over here in which I show you a couple ways to find vocalists for your songs. But Black Coffee doesn't stop right there. He normally adds a lot more melodic elements like pianos, pads, and a lot of other melodic elements like marimbas, as you can listen over here. And these melodic elements complement the vocal and complement the groove. But notice how he normally doesn't have many synth leads in his songs. And that's because normally the vocal is what's leading the song. And just adding another lead could be a little bit like stuffing the song. Listen, for example, to this song over here. Instead of having a synth lead, he essentially has a guitar leading the song and now the vocals are in the background. Therefore, it's not because you're producing melodic house or progressive house or melodic techno that you have to make your song stuff with chord progression and melodies because that's not what this is all about. Sometimes finding one or two good melodies and just playing around with them is more than enough to convey the vibe that you want in your songs. Listen, for example, to the label This Never Happened and their songs are essentially about one or two melodies and building a really good song around it. By the way, let me know over here in the comments below if you want me to to make a video about this never happened as well. All this together, combining the Afro house with that melodic and soulful vibe of the song just makes the song really interesting. But there are still a few elements that make his songs a lot fuller and a lot more interesting to listen to, which are gonna talk about it right now. As a groovy, percussive and melodic genre, ear candies are not commonly used to fill the gaps of the melody, but also to complement the vibe and the groove of the song by adding background elements. Listen, for example, to this remix called Silence and Secrets and listen to the pads in the background. In addition to the bass and the percussion, there are a lot of pads in the background just filling up the gaps of the song and making the song a bit fuller. And that's also something that you can listen in the breakdown of this song with guitar leaks as you can listen over here. Could you listen to that? This is not necessary in the song, but essentially it's just complementing the song and making it a bit more interesting. And you can also do this with pianos as you can listen over here in this song. As in any Afro House song, you're gonna listen to a lot of percussive ear candy as well. Listen, for example, to Drive with David Guetta. First of all, pay attention how the hats, instead of doing a tss, tss, is doing something a little bit more rhythmic, like tss, 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 tss. And you can also listen to a lot of glasses like this one over here. Now listen to the song again. Could you hear what I'm saying about the hat and about the glasses? And you can also listen to a lot of rattles as you can listen over here. Could you notice that? Really interesting to create transition and make them a little bit more natural. Basically, his ear candies are there to contribute with the vibe of the song and also to contribute with the groove of the percussion. But instead of overstuffing his ear candies with a lot of stuff that he doesn't need, he just adds the bare minimum. So instead of overstuffing your song with ear candy, focus on what you're gonna accentuate the vibe of the song and not just adding ear candies for the sake of adding. But honestly, what really makes Black Coffee a Grammy winning artist, it's not just what I've said. And the most important part of it is what we're gonna talk about it right now. Black Coffee's music has one goal and you can listen to him say this over here what are you trying to accomplish all over the world with your music africa has a voice and i, I would like to, for the world to see that voice i would like for the world to know that we are capable to be on the world stage this is why i continue to try and collaborate with the greatest artists being from Africa though and his goal as a musician is to bring Africa's voice into the world and he does that by bringing his African roots into his music the rhythm of the percussion the soulfulness of the vocal and the groove of the bass and when you have this in mind doesn't it make a lot more sense why he's constructing the songs the way that he's doing it when you as an artist understand the message that you want to send to your crowd it becomes a lot easier to find your signature sound for example if your message is to be something a lot more related to nature using nature sound and using organic sounds in your songs would make a lot more sense and you can hear black coffee's message not only in his original songs but also in his collab songs as you can listen over here in his collab with diplo 
It sounds exactly like him. And at the same time, it wouldn't make sense if he did a collab with David Guetta in Future Ray, for example, because that's just not him. And when you listen to Black Coffee's collab with David Guetta, that's what we got. Therefore, my question to you is, what is your message? What is the message that you as an artist want to send to the world? Leave it over here in the comments below because I'd love to see this. And if you still don't have a message, the best way is to do a mind map and essentially just do a brain dump of what you want to share to the world. And you'll be amazed because this technique can actually show, for example, the instruments that you can and can't use to send your message to the world. Now, if you also like Kind of Musica, you can also watch this video over here because they bring a different approach to Afro House. But if you like Melodic House, you can watch this video over here because it's also really cool. I hope you like the video and I hope to see you in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.